pair of safety glasses are important to protect your eyes. Um, some leather gloves. Early on, as you go into the house, there's a couple of potential hazards in addition to some of the structural hazards that we talked about. Uh, mold and, and other uh, biological um, uh, diseases from the water that's actually been in the house are concerned. So, a pair of nitrile gloves. These are a little more heavy duty than the typical latex and they're more chemical resistant. So a pair of, uh, a box of these are important. If you just wear these and you start getting into some construction type material, these will tear with nails fairly easily. So the best thing to do is to put on a pair of nitriles and then you can take the leather gloves which will protect you from nails and other debris and actually put it over the top of the nitriles and then you're doubly protected so that's really the best way to uh, to get started with uh, preparations okay another thing that's important to have is a mask a respirator here you can buy these at uh, local hardware stores and they'll have standard cartridges they're usually organic vapor cartridges but those will work to keep some of the particulate matter and the mold which can be as we said a health concern that keeps uh, it keeps you uh, healthy as you're uh, working in this type of an environment okay a hard hat especially when you get into tearing down walls uh, to avoid head injuries um, so hard hats another thing that uh, can be useful as well We've got a couple different pry bars here, one that's a little bit smaller, one that's uh, more of a wrecking bar here uh, for pulling out, uh, helping to pull out walls. So those are useful tools as well. Hammers can be used for various things, so of course those are fairly standard. Um, in some cases a sledgehammer can be used, but you have to be careful, especially with a plaster lath system like this, if you just start swinging at walls, all that lath is connected to the uh, to the studs and it'll, it'll actually potentially do some damage to the studs if you just uh, start hitting away with a sledgehammer. So make sure you open up the wall first and, and use that uh, carefully so you don't do any structural damage to the house. We've got a shovel here we use for scooping up debris and uh, of course smaller shovels are useful as well. This is a utility knife. Uh, it's helpful with cutting up carpet. Uh, carpet's usually saturated. It's very heavy, difficult to move. So cutting carpet up into pieces can be useful with a utility knife. A rake can be fairly useful for raking up debris, large debris, before you get to the stage where you can use a broom to sweep up some of the smaller debris. So a rake can be useful as well. And then in wet areas where you're trying to move water and, and mud, a squeegee like this can be useful as well. And um, especially in basements, that'll be uh, helpful. A generator is a useful tool to run fans and other electrical equipment like lights in the basement. And uh, so this is a handy tool to use. Uh, if you're in an urban environment, sometimes you can get a, a temporary electrical hookup but again, be careful before hooking up all electrical uh, outlets and everything because uh, that can be dangerous in this type of an environment.